Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice exponential equation? And uh, from here, x is a member of a number. Let's take 2 to this side, and this becomes x raised to power 6 minus x raised to power 3 minus 2, then equals to 0. Then from here, you can also write x raised to power 6 as x raised to power 3 then raised to power 2 2 times 3 here is something as 6 then minus x raised to power 3 minus 2 equals to 0 then from here we have x raised to power 3 common so let the letter y be equal to x raised to power 3 then this equation becomes y square minus y minus 2 then equal to 0 then from here we can factorize this by saying we have y square minus 2y plus y minus 2 equals to 0 as here minus 2 plus 1 is something as minus 1 which is the coefficient here and also minus 2 times 1, same thing as minus 2, which is the product here. So from here we group these two two here. And y is common here. So we have y out into bracket y minus 2 left here. Then what is common here is 1, that's plus 1, into bracket y minus 2, which is equal to 0. Then here <coughs> we have y minus 2 common. So we have y minus 2 then multiply by we have y plus 1 which is equal to 0 from here then here we have y minus 2 equal to 0 or we have y plus 1 equal to 0 so from here we have y equals to 2 and here we have y equals to minus 1 then we call that we let y be equal to x raised to power 3. So it implies here that x raised to power 3 now equals to 2. Then also here x raised to power 3 equals to minus 1. Then on this side we can take cube roots on both sides. So cube roots here we cancel cube. And we have x now, which is equal to cube root of 2, same thing as 2 raised to the power 1 over 3. So here we have the value of x on this side. Then from here, let's take minus 1 to this side. Then we have x cube become plus 1, then equals to 0. So similarly, we can write it as x cube plus y cube equals to 0 then from when we have a cube plus b cube this can be written as a plus b then into bracket a square minus a b plus b square so here following this from here this will become x plus 1 then into bracket x square then minus x times 1 that's minus x then plus 1 square that's 1 then equals to 0 then from here we have two possible cases we have x plus 1 equals to 0 or we have x square minus x plus 1 equals to 0 from here then on this side x equals to minus 1 so we have another resolution from here then to check if this will give us a resolution let's see the discriminant which is b square minus 4 ac here then b here is minus 1 then this become minus 1 square then minus 4 times a here is 1 then c here is 1 then minus 1 square that's 1 then minus here we have 4. 
which is minus 3 and this is less than 0 so it implies that there is no free solution on this side so we have no resolution here then the only resolution we have here is x equals to 2 raised to power 1 over 3 and x equals to minus 1 then to check if this satisfies the given problem we have x raised to power 3 minus x raised to power 3 equals to 2 now for x equals to 2 raised to power 1 over 3 when we substitute then this implies we have x raised to power 6 now that will be 2 raised to power 1 over 3 then raised to power 6 minus 2 raised to power 1 over 3 raised to power 3 will this be equal to 2 then from the law of indices this power will multiply it implies 3 here 1 3 here 2 then 2 times 1 here that's 2 raised to power 2 now minus here 3 cancel each other here we have 2 raised to power 1 which is 2 then it is equal to 2 then 2 raised to power 2 here that's 4 minus 2 is this equal to 2 this is 2 now which is equal to 2 and this left hand side equals to right hand side and we have this x equals to 2 raised to power 1 over 3 satisfying this given problem now for x equals to minus 1 also when we substitute here so here we have minus 1 now raised to power 6 minus into bracket minus 1 raised to power 3 is this equal to 2 then here minus 1 raised to power 6 will be plus 1 because minus raised to power even number will be plus so this is 1 now then minus here minus raised to power odd number is still minus so 1 raised to power 3 is still 1 so that's minus 1 here is it equal to 2 then this is 1 minus times minus is plus that's 1 plus 1 and this is 1 plus 1 is 2 and which is equal to 2 so we also have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and here s equals to minus 1 also satisfying this given problem and thank you for joining us please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification thank you Share this video as well and see you next class. Bye for now.